Now turning to Carlisle, it has a new CEO. Bloomberg has learned the private equity giant has chosen former Goldman Sachs co-president Harvey Schwartz. The announcement formally could come as soon as today. For more, we're joined by Shanali Blasik, Bloomberg Global Finance Correspondent. So Shanali, we've been waiting for a choice for a while. Is Schwartz a surprising one? Listen, this is a dramatic end to a really stunning six-month search on Wall Street. Remember, we know Harvey Schwartz left Goldman Sachs. He was a CEO contender back in 2018. And so now, yes, I mean, it's pretty rare, guys, to see a banking executive take over a top spot at one of the largest private asset firms in the world. Uh, that transition is challenging to make. Remember, he himself, again, was the president of Goldman Sachs, so he has a lot of very material leadership experience here at a time that is very challenging for Carlisle ahead. Carlisle's own directors have said that the firm could benefit, according to sources. The firm could benefit from an outsider with a fresh perspective. But again, this is another mm. shot at, uh, the, at the game here for Carlisle, which already tried to transition past the founders, which still hold 25% of the firm's stock. So um, succession has been an issue for a lot of these old, uh, storied private equity firms. What are the other challenges that Carlisle faces? Listen, their stock has really lagged their rivals. So between asset growth and between kind of bringing around the firm's performance here in public markets, changing the perception of Carlisle after such a dramatic debacle we saw at the top will be an interesting thing for Harvey Schwartz to be doing. Remember also the fundraising environment at large has been very challenging and Carlisle itself has been lagging where it wanted to be in certain fundraising metrics. Uh, what I had understood also is as they go fundraising, go out fundraising, there's the core private equity groups where the cost of financing is higher now than it was in the last decade or so. And they've been pivoting more towards credit as well. So can they improve morale while also kind of sharing the love among all the businesses in a tough fundraising cycle?